Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is part 2. Today I want to discuss question number 2 and 3 of solid state physics CC 14 2021. You can see this is the question paper. Question number 1 already discussed. Today I want to discuss question number 2 and 3. In upcoming session we will be covered with question number 4, 5 and 6, 7. Let's start. First question says write down last condition for constructing interference in a crystal. If you uh, consider the crystal with the lattice plane like that and the incoming wave vector is k and reflected wave vector is k prime and the interface produced due to the path uh, loss or the path difference between these two wave. And this loss condition says that 2k dot g equal to g mod g square where g is the reciprocal lattice vector. Now we need to derive the Bragg's law from it for a simple cubic lattice and obtain the vectors form of the Bragg's law using the concept of lattice poker, uh, reciprocal lattice. So next we need to find out the Bragg's law from the loss condition. So loss condition uh, says that the, the value of g that is this k and k prime. So if you difference between g is k minus k prime. So the magnitude will be like that if you just take that k sin theta this is k sin theta so double of the k sin theta so k dot g is nothing but kg cos theta 90 minus theta angle between this k and g is 90 minus theta so kg sin theta Laus condition that is uh, we just find 2 k dot g equal to mod g square so 2 k dot g is kg sin theta and mod g is like that so from here you will be easily find out the Bragg's law Next is the uh, Bragg's law in reciprocal lattice that is the vector form of the uh, Bragg's law. In the reciprocal lattice the Bragg's law in the vector form will be like that that is k prime minus k equal to g this is the reciprocal lattice vector uh, and take this o a and o b prime the same in this vector. So these two are equal and finally we obtain this form and this is actually the vector form of the Bragg's law in the reciprocal lattice. Next question, so that the reciprocal lattice corresponding to FCC, the face center cubic is the BCC, body center cubic. So the primitive cell in the face center cubic will be like that. Take this A dot B cross C, the volume, and the reciprocal translational vector A star equals to 2 pi B cross B by A dot B cross C, right? So put this value, you will be find out the expression that is the reciprocal lattice vector in of the FCC. You can find this expression and this is nothing but the primitive cell for the BCC. So hence the reciprocal lattice on the FCC lattice is the BCC lattice. Next is the so that the packing fraction of BCC lattice is 0.68. So packing fraction is nothing but the ratio of number of atom occupying the unit cell to the volume of the unit cell. You can see for BCC body center cubic, this diagonal that is root 3a is nothing but r 2r r 4r. So r is nothing but like that. So packing fraction is 2 into because the uh, per unit cell, the, uh, the per, per unit cell number of atom is 2. So 2 into 4 third pi r cube by a cube. Finally, we get option 68% or 0 0.68. Next is the uh, phonon uh, dispersed phonon. Dispersion relation vibrating diatomic chain is given like that. This is a uh, dispersion relation of a diatomic chain that is the two mass particles are arranged in the periodic nature that is called the diatomic chain. And the dispersive relation is between the frequency and wave number is known as dispersion relation. This is given here. Obtain the minimum and the maximum angular frequency are equestrian in optical mode k equal to 0 you will be often that is omega uh, plus square equals to like that so omega plus is like that and we take the omega minus when this take as uh, uh, minus here you will be often this 0 so for plus this is the uh, uh, and for minus this is one. for k tends to 0 you will be often this expression and for k tends to pi by 2 a will be often for plus and this is for minus so in graphical um, point of view will be often this one so this is for omega minus and this is for omega plus we just uh, find out this value in the previous slide you can check so this two nature and there is a forbidden gap this is known as the forbidden gap where there is no allowed state or present there okay so this is the optical branch and this is acoustic branch so this is now the question is obtain the expression of specific heat of solid according to Einstein's theory at high temperature and low temperature limits. So from Einstein's theory we already discussed in the previous 
uh, yeah, solution and also in theoretical class that is the uh, energy of harmonic oscillator is like that and average energy will be like that taking this average this calculation finally you will be obtained this expression this is the Einstein theory in the specific heat for high temperature if you consider then the expression will be 3R which satisfied wrong Curtis law and for low temperature we will be obtained this type of expression so in case of the uh, high temperature this matches with experimental value but in low temperature it does not matches with the experimental value this was actually corrected by dy where we taking the velocity of the uh, velocity is actually distributed in the longitudinal and transverse as well but the Einstein does not distinguish them so after distinguishing this experimental and theoretical more or less matches next question divide temperature of solid is given compared to the highest vibrational frequency of solid at this 30 Kelvin so for divide temperature you will be opted divide frequency okay and these are the frequencies linearly proportional to temperature you will be obtained this expression So that's it for today. Uh, next class will be co uh, considered the next two question also. So this is all about me. This is my contact detail. This is my YouTube channel address. So that's it for today. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video as soon as we well. Thank you.